Like, instead of relying on traditional surveys, Zanskar trains models on nearly every scrap of ge geological data it can get its hands on, from seismic readings, magnetic surveys, gravity maps, oil and gas well logs, even obscure historical data sets scattered across state archives. The team then builds bespoke models for each region because the geology isn't one size fits all. Uh, and that customization isn't the whole game. Off-the-shelf models simply can't capture the local quirks, the faults, the fractures, the temperature gradients that determine whether heat is actually tappable. To your point, like we know it's there. It's just a question of where is it, where can we drill to actually get to it economically and turn this into, you know, a profitable enterprise. That's right. And and speaking of profitability, the payoff is pretty dramatic. So instead of years of field work, the AI can compress exploration into weeks and flag high potential geothermal zones that humans would probably never have identified or taken a really long time to identify. And um, this is not sort of a theoretical exercise. Zanskar actually made a blind prediction identifying a promising subsurface system in Utah with no prior geothermal activity. And when U.S. geological survey teams validated it this year, the site turned out to be exactly what the model had predicted, which was a large drillable geothermal reservoir hiding in plain sight. 